How's it going everyone? My name's Adam Maria Postbox. Welcome back to another OBS Studio tutorial. It's been a little while, but I've had a number of requests for topics to cover uh, along with the playlists that I've already done. If you haven't seen my other OBS Studio tutorials, I have a huge playlist with a bunch of topics covered very in depth in the description below and then the YouTube card icon above. But today we're talking about how you can stream to both YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, pretty much any platform you want at the same time using a platform called Restream.io. Let's check it out. Flipping on over to the desktop here, you want to go to Restream.io and make an account or log in. This is the platform that your live stream will be running through in order to reach your final destinations of your YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, and so on. Once you're logged in here, you'll see the interface of basically pretty self-explanatory of how this is going to work. You have a button to add a channel for a plethora of various streaming sites as well as your own custom RT RMTP site. But there's Switch, Ustream, YouTube, YouTube Gaming, Hitbox, MLG, pretty much everything. And they all have the one button sign in, or well, not really one button, but you know, authorization sign ins in order to access your accounts. So you just tell it to manage your gaming or your YouTube account for YouTube live streaming, same thing for Twitch, Hitbox, and so on. And then you have little toggles to enable or disable which ones you want streamed to at any given time. If you click the gear icon, you can edit some settings such as which server they access for Twitch or what your live stream key is for Hitbox, or you can delete the channel altogether off of your list. And again, you can add all of your channels and then pick and choose which ones you want to stream to at any given stream. Over at the top, we have a titles button where you can add the stream title and the game for YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, and so on. It only works for the ones that connect via the API, not custom added servers, but it works fairly well in my experience. The game does not change if you do, if you do YouTube stream now, instead of YouTube gaming, it will not give you the game option, which I did here, and that was my mistake. If we go to the social alerts tab, you can connect your Twitter and Facebook to automatically start posting that you're live on your various social platforms. And then they also have a chat client for Windows that you can download as well. This basically puts all of your chats in one place and allows you to watch it and see it all at once, which is really handy because that's the hardest part about this, is keeping up with all the different chats. You will of course need to be able to see your chat while you're playing your game or whatever, which is why multi-monitor configurations is always recommended for live streaming. Next, you're going to want to open up OBS Studio. Once that's open up here, you're going to want to duplicate your previously created ideally Twitch or Hitbox or YouTube Gaming profile and we're just going to point it towards Restream.io. If you don't know how to set that up, you should check out my other tutorials in the playlist in the description below or YouTube card icon above, as I've covered it very in depth and I can't really fit it into this video, but basically copy your exact same profile and make it make one named for Restream.io. And you do that by going up to Profile, and yes, I am just going to be streaming my desktop. And you do that by going to Profile and Duplicate and then typing in a name. There's no need to make a second scene collection since you're ideally using the exact same scenes as you were before. But now we're going to open up settings and go to the stream settings. And this is the only thing we really need to change. And OBS now has a Restream.io listing under services if your copy is updated. So simply choose that. Choose your server, whichever one's closest to you. For me, that's US East. And then choose the same server in OBS Studio, Washington DC for me. And then copy your stream key. Once again, never, ever, ever, ever show your stream key on stream or to anyone else. And if you accidentally do so, you need to click the little swirly icon next to it on Restream.io and clear it out because that gives people permission to copy to your to stream to your live stream. And yes, I showed mine here, but I cleared it out and reset it a bunch after the tutorial. If you're adding a custom server, they do have the RTMP URL there if you need to add it that way for if you're using a program other than XSplit or OBS that doesn't have it built in. And then hit start streaming on OBS. And YouTube stream now says unknown pretty much all the time for me for some reason. But then you can start pulling up your live stream pages and see whether or not you're alive on them. For me, it did not work at first because I had I haven't used I haven't done any live stream in a while, and so it's probably been six months or a year since I last logged in and used Restream which means that my connections to Hitbox and Twitch were no longer active, even though like the accounts were listed, I no longer had authorization for those two channels. So what I needed to do was stop my stream, 
delete the channels and then re-add them and authorize them for Hitbox and Twitch respectively. And then hit live stream again or start streaming on OBS again. And they both popped up and now some random viewer that probably tuned in thinking I was streaming saw my desktop with a little donation ticker scrolling across it. Because w why not? But that's pretty much it. They, they do have that chat app and things like that. But that that's how you stream to as pretty much as many streaming platforms as, you're, as you want. All you're doing is live streaming to Restream.io's servers who are then point or, you know, spreading it out and re literally restreaming it as they're titled to Twitch, Hitbox, wherever you're telling it to go. This is really great to stream to a plethora of different platforms and their chat app is wonderful to keep up with all the different chats or if you have multiple monitors, you can do it that way. But a pretty cool piece of software regardless. But that's it from me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and if you're looking for more OBS related content, if you want some questions answered as to how to actually use OBS or OBS Studio, how to set up your profile or scene collections, all of those questions are probably answered in the videos in the playlist in the card icon above or the description below. And check out those videos before you post, just in case. Or otherwise, I will be happy to help with some questions in the comments below. But keep in mind, I may point you to specific videos. But my name has been Adam Marie Fox. Thank you so much for watching. Spread the word about this tutorial if you know other people who would like to know how to do this. And otherwise, I will catch you in a future video.